video is brought to you today by Ghost Tags. This is my own company that I started because I wanted a glow in the dark air tag case. These things are awesome. You can stick them on your backpack, on your dog's collar, and you will be able to find it at night. We've got two colors, blue and green. They've got great reviews. Go check them out. Links to them down below. Now on to the video. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Slim and you're watching Slimothy TV. In this video, we're going to talk about iOS 17 beta 7, which just dropped today. We're going to talk about all the new features, bug fixes, and the performance and battery life, so stay tuned. So first off, here is the size. In case you're wondering, it was 687 megabytes approximately, which is getting a little bit smaller week by week as these betas go on. But even more interestingly, the build number ended with an A, which is usually indicative of almost an RC. So this is interesting. Earlier in the beta cycle, we did see the number go backwards between one of the betas. It went from like F to G or something, it went backwards. So we could see that here again. But right now it is at an A, which is good, I guess. It means we're almost done with these betas um, which kind of leaves us wondering when the next beta will be because we've got like four or five more weeks until the final release and well <laughs> this is almost the final release right here my guess is apple will either skip a week or they will just keep putting in new refinements with new build numbers but regardless those are those two quick bits of information for you let's talk about the new features there are only two new features that are worth noting here the first one is actually something that we called no pun intended a couple of videos ago in one of the other beta videos we said that apple was likely going to move the end call button down into its own spot you can go watch that whole video and they did that they did just that which is awesome i think you do have to have the keypad pulled up to see it but hey it's in there and it's kind of nice to see obviously i'm overlaying it over the screen right now so you guys can see what that looks like the only other change was with the silence button so now when you take it off of mute and then put it back into mute it has a very distinctive vibration with the haptic motor it just it buzzes like three times and it's very firm so something unlike any of the other betas that we've seen i know last beta they made that so it didn't work they it was a bug this is letting us know that with the iPhone 15, they're getting rid of the mute switch. It's just gonna be a button there. I mean, I'm not really happy about that. The mute switch is going to go away and it's going to be an action button. So I'm assuming when you mute the phone, it'll probably be like if you double tap it, it'll mute the phone. If you single tap it, it will do the action of whatever you want. The three haptic you know, vibrations that it does will signify that the phone's muted. It is what it is. Uh, maybe I'll end up liking it, but I think that's how they're gonna do it, by the way. It's either gonna be a long press or a double or triple press for the mute, I think. And I think if you just single press it, it'll do anything you want. You could have it open the camera, take a photo, open up the app store, whatever. But that is a tidbit for another time, but that's it. Those are the only two new cool features. So anyone that's trying to drag out an eight minute video to put ads in the middle is just trying to use you for views and watch time. But let's talk about the bugs. So there is still that one major bug. If you swipe between pages and pull this down and swipe around, it's very laggy. Um, I've been talking about this for a couple betas now. Apple has not fixed it. Everything else feels really good. Uh, the heat on the phone is actually less than usual, so that is nice to see. Battery is likely going to be very good on this one. We'll have an update video coming up soon, but obviously not yet. We need a few more days to try this beta out, but for now, everything seems pretty good. No major issues at all. So what's the verdict? <laughs> if you're on the beta train, get it. If you're not on the beta train, just wait until the public release in a couple weeks. There's really no need to get this right now. Uh, unless you really want to for some reason but most people should just wait at this point don't even get the public beta uh, unless you're already on it then obviously yes update at this point the risk versus rewards is just not there unless you're super impatient but uh, it's already the 22nd of august and the final release is going to be in less than one month so i say sit tight this beta is awesome though there's no major issues besides the annoying one that i just mentioned but that's not something probably that apple really cares about so that's pretty much it if you like the video hit the big thumbs up and subscribe we've got some iphone 15 rumor videos coming as well as case videos we just got our first shipments in so we're going to be taking a look at those very soon so that's all i got like i said thumbs up subscribe peace